Good morning children. Today we shall learn about lenses. You must have seen the detectives looking for clues using a round glass in the hand on TV or in the story books or even detective novels. The object seem larger when he looks through that glass. But any kind of glass can't do that. That glass is a lens. Also, people with poor sight wear spectacles to see better. That glass in spectacles is a lens too. Now, what is a lens? A lens is generally curved and transparent polished piece of glass or any other transparent material. You know the lens which detective uses to see the things larger or bigger is thicker in the middle than it is at the edges. This type of lens is called a convex lens. There is one more kind of lens which is thicker at the edges than in the middle. This is called a concave lens. If you see through a concave lens, things would appear smaller. Now, why do the things appear bigger or smaller when we see through the lens? You know, the light falls an object, then it is reflected and finally it reaches our eyes. Then only we are able to see that object. When the parallel rays of the light coming from an object pass through a lens, they don't remain parallel anymore. And when the parallel rays pass through the convex lens, they converge and finally meet at a point. On the other hand, when the parallel rays of light pass through the concave lens, they move away from each other, that is, they diverge. We saw this in the story too. Do you remember how the giant recharged himself? He inserted a crystal inside the huge machine. The sunlight passed through the crystals and many other lenses inside that device. And the light came out of the machine and passed through the concave lens. The rays of different colors moved from each other after passing through the concave lens because, as we know now, concave lens diverges the light. Then the giant absorbed the power from the light. But when Gina changed the concave lens with the convex lens, what happened? The rays came closer to each other. That is, the light converged after passing through the convex lens. The convex lens focused the light coming out of the huge device on the giant. The giant couldn't tolerate the focused power and shrunk to a rat. Which of course would have been due to his magical powers too getting reversed just like the lenses. After passing through the convex lens, all the rays really converge or meet at a point. If we hold a convex lens over a paper, we would see a bright spot on the paper. And if we move the lens closer to the paper or move further from it, the size of that bright spot changes. The light converges and gets focused in that bright region. As the rays get focused in that region, it appears very bright. At a certain distance of lens from the paper, that bright spot would turn into a point. It means all the converged rays meet at a point. That point is known as the principal focus. You know, when we focus light through the lens on the paper in a smaller area, it becomes hot as the converged rays focus there. And you know, after some time, that paper can catch fire too. And this is exactly what the giant did using his convex lens. 
in his garden as we saw he burnt the leaves and other things to scare khushi what exactly happens when we see through the convex lens the parallel rays of light coming from an object say object ab here converge that is they bend inwards after passing through the convex lens now the converged light reaches our eyes our eyes follow straight path so it appears to us as if the light is coming from the image a1b1 instead of the object ab and as we can see the image a1b1 is bigger than the real object thus a1b1 is an image of ab but it is bigger in size than the real object and this is how we see larger image using convex lens and what about concave lens when the light passes through the concave lens it diverges that is the rays move away from each other if we extend the diverged rays backward they would meet at a point it seems like the rays are diverging from that point this point f is the principal focus for the concave lens now let us see why things appear smaller when we see through the concave lens the parallel rays of the light coming from the object say the object ab here diverge that is they bend outwards after passing through the concave lens now the diverged light reaches our eyes our eyes follow straight path so it appears to us as if the light is coming from the image a1b1 instead of the real object and as we can see the image a1b1 is smaller in size than the real object so this is how using a concave lens we are able to see a smaller image so now we know what happens when the light passes through the different lenses but how did the device split the sunlight into rays of seven different colors in this story we know that the white color is made of seven different colors violet indigo yellow blue green orange and red we can see these color in the rainbow and how can we see this the rain drops splits the white sunlight into seven colors you know when we combine these seven colors we get back the white color sir isaac newton showed this with very simple experiment here is a disk painted with seven composition colors of white in right proportion and it is called newton's disk if we rotate it very fast the disk would appear white how the impulse of image formed in our eyes remains for a fraction of seconds in our mind as the disk rotates very fast the image of different colors overlap each other several images overlap each other and hence seven color overlap each other so our eye sees the white color interesting to know isn't it coming back to the story the crystal which chain inserted into the device was a prism while the white light passes through a glass prism it splits into its composition colors that is violet indigo blue green yellow orange and red that is webcurrent shot the prism inside the device split the white sunlight into the seven composition colors if you pass the light from a torch through a glass prism the prism would split the light into seven colors too and if you hold a screen 
like a board in the part of the light coming out of the prism you would see band of colors on it this band of colors is called the spectrum so let's quickly revise what we learned today what are lenses a lens is generally a curved and transparent polished piece of glass or any other transparent material say plastic there are two kinds of lenses the first one is convex lens a convex lens is thicker in the middle than at the edges and it converges the light the parallel rays falling on the convex lens converge to a point and that point is called the principal focus the second spherical lens is the concave lens which is thicker at the edges and tapering in the middle the concave lens diverges the light that is when the parallel rays pass through it they move away from each other diverged rays seem to be diverging from a point that virtual point is the principal focus we also learned that the white light is made of seven different colors that is violet indigo blue green yellow orange and red we see these color in the rainbow and the prism can split white light into its seven composition colors so that was all about lenses bye bye children